Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, depending on where you are dining in from. I hope everyone is well today and thank you for joining. Welcome to the Screenstone webinar on how to measure and report scope three emissions. Obviously, a very key and important topic at the moment, particularly today, as it is Earth Day. And as we are also seeing a number of nations commit to even more ambitious reduction targets, so the UK and the US in the last couple of days, which is really great to see. <clears throat> so because of that, it's even more important that the business community uh, really helps to drive this by accurately looking and accounting their scope three emissions, well, all scope three categories. Um, and over the next 30 minutes, we'll be covering quite a big topic in a pretty short space of time. So we will try to cover as much as possible on scope three, the challenges and how you can start the reporting process. <clears throat> Great. So just to introduce myself firstly, so I am Jay Gill and I head up the client services team at Greenstone and also very pleased to be joined today by Louise, who is a sustainability consultant in the Greenstone team. And Louise leads a lot of our scope three work. Uh, so I'll let Louise introduce herself shortly. Um, but just a bit of housekeeping before we fully get started. Uh, we will not be doing a full Q&A session, formal one at the end, just because of time restraints today. But please do still use the GoToWebinar question function, which should be on the right hand side of your screen on the GoToWebinar uh, panel. So please do still submit questions and we will go through everything at the end and we will then respond directly with questions. And for any useful content across the board, we will look to produce an FAQs document and circulate that as well as the slides. We will make the slides available to everyone as well afterwards. <clears throat> Before we go through the agenda and get started on the content today, um, I'm just gonna start by giving a bit of a background and overview of us, of Greenstone, for those of you who may not already be familiar with us. So we, Greenstone, provide sustainability software with uncapped support from our team of reporting specialists. And we've been doing that since 2007, and we have three main product areas, which you can see on the screen here. We have a sustainability focused product, uh, Greenstone Enterprise, and that enables complete scope one, two, and three uh, emissions reporting in line with the GHG protocol, CDP, and other requirements, and also enables tracking of targets, science-based targets, net zero targets, and other framework reporting, so GRI, CDP, etc. We also then have a supply chain uh, aspect of our product areas, which is supplier portal, and that can be used to track the scope three aspects of your emissions and uh, collect primary data from your suppliers, but also risk compliance and other areas of your supply chain management as well. <clears throat> and then finally, investor portal is the third area, uh, which you can see on the right hand side. Um, so that enables the investor community to fully track and manage ESG data across multiple funds and portfolio companies, um, but can also be used to calculate uh, emissions from investments for scope three reporting as well. So that is us at a high level and now the agenda for today. So in a moment, I will pass on to Louise who will take us through these first three sections. So an introduction, to scope three emissions, what is driving the requirement uh, for scope three emissions reporting, <clears throat> and also some of the challenges around this area. From there, I will come back and look at how we can start or how you can start in the scope three reporting journey and some top tips about that process. And then finally, how we are seeing software being used to accurately measure and report scope three emissions. But before I pass over to Louise, we're gonna do the first of two uh, polls today to get to your thoughts on, well, get understanding where you are in your process. So here we can see now, do you currently calculate and report your scope three emissions? So yes, we have been reporting for years. Yes, but we've just started the process. Yes, but we don't capture all scope three categories at this stage, so it may just be business travel or waste or water. No, but we are looking to start reporting them, or no, we are not considering at this stage reporting our scope for emissions. So we'll give everyone a moment just to submit their answers. And this is really useful for us to understand where you all are in that journey. 
and hopefully we won't see too many people in that last bucket. But let's have a look at the results if they are now ready. Here we go. Okay, great. So quite a good mixture of people in the different options, but definitely the main chunk of people, 38% in that middle one. So, and that's what we would expect. That's where most people are. So you are reporting maybe some of the core categories, business travel, waste, water perhaps, but not the wider options. So that's great to hear. And as we go through the content today, we'll have a look at some of those wider categories and how we can help uh, in that space. Perfect. So with that, I will pause and I'll hand over to Louise to take you through the next few sections. So Louise, over to you.